the women's squash team at Trinity is representative of 10 different countries. I mean, Zimbabwe, Scotland, uh, Canada, the US, Mexico, Germany, um, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, uh, Egypt, and, and so it's, a, it's an incredibly international group. Each brought their own culture, their own beliefs, their own religion, their own attitude. Going to another country, another culture, uh, another way of thinking, it's, it's difficult, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm so glad that I'm uh, like a very international team. Given the fact that I was already doing a lot of focusing work with them, stress reduction kind of work, it occurred to me that TM, given what I had seen in some of the research, might be a perfect mesh with precisely the sort of work I was doing. TM, actually, I'm glad we started that this season. It helped me to calm me down with my anger. I used to get really angry on court. <laughs> and after doing TM, it like, the anger went away. I really want the team to come up here and feel that this is a place that they can be and be relaxed and be in control. When they get on that court, they should be in control. And it should be a stress freer not a stress maker. So I've really tried to make the practices just flow a little bit more. This year, especially, we got into like a really good routine and schedule. Right. And like it helped doing the TM. Everyone has always said that as soon as we finish TM, like we're all so much more relieved at the end, like have more energy to go do our studies after, which is not something, anything you can think of after you've just been like going hard practicing. Just in general with the whole team, we're certainly a calmer team, a more focused team yeah. this year than we've been in the past. We really have been. We've had just as many challenges this year as we've had any other year, but we've just been able to handle them a lot better. I wasn't able to focus completely on the game, and I was distracted by external factors like audience, the refs sometimes. I had few information about transcendental meditation, and I was really looking forward to knowing more. That really helped me more to get into the zone. Being in the zone is very important for an athlete because that's the point where you can perform at your best level. So that was a great thing to learn. Sometimes if you're so hyped up, you'll go on and you won't play well because you're just so anxious to win. Whereas if you use TM and you stay calm, you think more about what you're doing rather than just running on, trying to hit the ball as hard as you can, run anywhere, because that doesn't help at all. Whereas if you're calm, you can think about what you're doing. I was surprised at how easy meditation is to learn because when I went to learn it I also thought it would be really hard and it would involve your brain a lot but it's not, you sit there, close your eyes, say your mantra and it, everything just comes, it just flows and then before you know it's over. <laughs> I was at first a skeptic about meditation because I didn't, I mean it's so simple that I didn't think it could make a difference. And then, I mean, after having learned it and done it and noticing the difference and having people around me notice the difference, that's when I sort of realized that it was for real. <laughs> I think it was a very smart idea for our coaches to bring this in. Obviously, they want what's best for the team, and they're always looking for new things. And I think we all got something out of it that made a difference. I think it shows a lot of creativity and dedication on their part. And it's not, they're not just sort of doing the same thing over and over again, like they're really trying to reach out for new ideas. First of all, it was a great experience. It was something new for most of us. And since we are from different parts of the, of the world, we, um, I don't know, we tend to learn like in different ways. And it was such a nice experience having the whole team uh, together learning this technique. I used TM a lot before tests. Um, and I noticed that with the appropriate amount of studying, every time that I meditate before a major test, I haven't gotten below a 90. I think it's because I'm more relaxed going into the, to the test, and I, we learned in my class um, called the brain that when you're stressed out, your prefrontal cortex shuts down, so you're not making judgments and you can't recall things as well. I usually use it before I work out as well, because for some reason I just feel more energized afterwards. Whenever I meditate before the match, I felt like more relaxed. My body was so relaxed. My mind was like so calm. I was thinking on nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know how to play. So maybe if your mind is just very calm, your body will respond automatically. 
the most important squash is played on the six inch court between their ears. And I think that's true of most sports. It is that mental piece. I think what's happening here is all women are able to kind of right now say, wait a minute, I can do this. And I, I don't need to worry about what the score is or what's happening. I can make this happen. And you're seeing it happen. I mean, number three in the nation. So much of the game of squash is mental and keeping your cool out there because in a second you can lose five points and you really need to know how to mentally group yourself and come back to win it. I would definitely recommend TM for athletes. It's just really a centered place you can go when you're competing and you're under a lot of pressure. I'm a scientist too and I wanted to see the data. And you pull out 700 studies. And, and show me, and they're real studies, and I went and looked a lot of them up. I heard about the TM program through Randy Lee. He actually approached me to work on the Transcendental Meditation program for my senior thesis. One of the groups that we did research with was the women's squash team. Um, they were ranked number three in the nation, which is very incredible. They would do group meditations together, and we definitely found some significant increases in self-efficacy among the pre and post tests for those girls, which was incredible. Self-efficacy is one's belief in their ability to accomplish a certain task. Research has shown that if they think higher of their abilities, they tend to perform at a higher level. We have a whole new technique to really begin to explore more to improve performance, to add TM for almost any sport. In fact, I can't think of a sport I would exclude. It seems to me can only bring positive uh, outcomes.